Hey folks, it's Josh, Stony Ridge Farmer. Welcome to the farm vlog today. Me and Mrs. Stony Ridge got a little project going on. We've been working in the garden, we've got a few things planted now, and we have a big time deer problem here on the farm. So we've got a fence in our garden. We're gonna take you and show you a fencing system that actually works, that keeps the deer out of your garden. We'll be fencing in our orchard, our garden, and our vineyard area, kind of a vineyard area. So we've got a few different grapevines planted and we've got some thornless blackberries planted and we have some, what else? Blueberries. Blueberries, Blueberries planted. So come along today on the farm vlog and we'll show you how to keep the deer out of your garden. And this works, tried and true. It actually works. It's a cool little system. All right. Guys, before we get started with today's vlog here in the garden, I wanted to talk about today's day sponsor. So we all have our daily routines of getting up, getting dressed, and getting ready, and I don't want to look like crap on the camera for you guys. I hate that rooster. So did you know that Dollar Shave Club has all your grooming products you would need? They offer toothpaste, body wash, hair styling products for those of you who have hair, and they also offer a premium razor. Guys, I switched to Dollar Shave Club. It's a premium American company. I had no idea. So if you're interested in a good quality American product and you don't have to go to the store and fight the crowds, Dollar Shave Club is your answer. Dollar Shave Club is basically giving away their daily essentials set. And this daily essentials set comes with one wipe Charlie's and their butt wipes. Very handy on the farm. <laughs> Calming lavender body cleanser in case you're really mad at something in the bathroom. You also get shea butter, and let me tell you, once you use this shea butter, you won't want to go back to shaving cream. Regular shaving cream is <laughs> Now this is a $5 exclusive box only offered at dollarshaveclub.com forward slash Stony Ridge. You get this premium executive razor, and you get a box of four razors. After you get your official Stony Ridge Farmer Dollar Shave Club starter kit, they just bill you monthly a few bucks, and you get all your razors and all your essentials that you're going to need. You don't have to worry about fighting the line. Once again, guys, check it out. This $5 offer at dollarshaveclub.com forward slash Stony Ridge. That's dollarshaveclub.com forward slash Stony Ridge. <laughs> So guys, here's our garden area down here and everything looks nice and wonderful and we hope to keep it that way. We hope to keep the weeds out and we hope to keep the deer out. Now we've been using these electronic things. There's one of them right there. We did a video about those little electronic deer repellent, animal repellent machines. They're solar powered, battery powered, and they really, really work. So I'll post a link down below and I'll post a link to the video right here. They really keep the deer out of your garden. Now, so far this year, we have our tomatoes in the ground. We have peppers, we have corn, we have all sorts of garden veggies already planted and nothing has messed with them so far. But do I trust that 110%? Probably not. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna build a fence around this with a little bit of poly wire. It's gonna be an electric fence and there's a very special way we build it and it works, it keeps the deer out. We just wanna put the fence up as an extra added piece of security and we don't have enough of those little electronic devices to keep them out of our orchard and our little vineyard right down here. So let's get busy, I'll show you what we're doing. What the concept here is we're gonna do a two layered fence. We're gonna put T-post in the ground right here, and then on the outside of the T-post, 36 inches away, we're gonna put another post, a plastic post. So let me define it for you. One post will be here, and one post will be on the outside, and they'll be 36 inches apart, okay? So we want our first wire at 18, the next wire at 36, and the next wire at 54. That's on our inside post. Our outside post, we just wanted at 18. So when the deer walk up, they see this as a three-dimensional barrier and they cannot get over it. Now we'll be using electricity on this, but you really actually don't have to use electricity. It just kind of alerts the deer to what they're getting close to. And when they touch it the first time, they stay away from it. So we'll show you how we construct it. We'll show you how we run the wire and we're gonna be using a solar electric fence charger. So we're gonna drive a post right here on the corner and we've already driven one down that way and we're just gonna get our start. So we're gonna start with our corner post. We're gonna go all the way around and set our corner post. Now, as I'm setting my corner post, this thing has a little spade on it and I wanna make sure that that spade is just below the level of the ground. I wanna be able to see about that much of the spade and that way it will hold in position. But when I get ready to take this down in the fall, I can just shake it and they'll pull right out. 
So guys, before you start pounding posts like this in the ground, especially if you live in the city, you want to make sure you call before you dig or you call before you pound these posts in the ground. If you don't do that and you were to hit a telephone line, a gas line, an electrical line, you could really hurt yourself or you could get a nice hefty fine. Let's get busy. Now we're using the six foot tall T-post, okay? So you want to get the tallest T-post that you can possibly get to accomplish this task. Doesn't matter so much for your outside fence, but for your inside fence, you want to make sure that you can get up to that 54 inch mark. So guys, believe it or not, this back here is going to be our vineyard. And everywhere you see a clump of grass is a little grapevine. And that row of grass right there is actually thornless blackberries. And on the other side is our blueberry bushes. So we're going to run our fence right around this and right on down through here. <laughs> have the wifey poo out here to help today and the dogs <laughs> we're just gonna go around and bust out the corner post first and then we'll show you the next step all right So the basic principle here is we're going to be using this poly wire, okay? And this poly wire is unique because it will stretch and it will carry electricity. So it's very handy to have and you can use a lot fewer posts. You can get this stuff either online at Amazon or you can get it at your local farm supply store. And we have a stick basically measured out to 18 inches. And we want to put three insulators, one at 18 inches, one at 36, and one at 54. And then the next stake we put is going to be 36 inches out from this one and we're going to put one strand at 18 inches. I'll show you. So here we've got our 18 inch marker stick so we'll stick it on there and right about there is our 18 inch mark. So we want to err on the side of a little bit higher so we're going to put it right here and this is our little fence insulator okay. And you can use all sorts of different types of fence insulators for T-posts but basically you just latch it around just that simple snap them into place and boom good to go now you want to put one at 54 36 and 18 inches now we've got all of our posts in the ground we're just going to run around and put the insulators on real quick now here's our poly fence wire and i have a gigantic roll this is what we rolled up last year when we took the fence down and basically at our starter post and throughout this whole process we're going to be wrapping down the post okay so in other words you want good contact with all of your different lines you don't want to run one line all the way out all the way back so you don't want to run five miles of fence because that'll create a lot of resistance you want those three strands to be connected interconnected throughout your fence and this is probably going to be somewhere in the neighborhood of eh, 2,000 foot fence okay so what we're going to do our first one is we're going to tie on in just any kind of old way you can tie on then we're going to wrap them all good we'll start at the bottom and we'll just walk around and probably do three laps and folks this ain't rocket science you just kind of wrap it on there best you can so that it doesn't come off okay so we're going to wrap all the way down our post here and make sure that we're covered all the way down a strand connecting all three and then we'll start from the bottom and we'll go all the way around the entire fence so the next step here we've got our string at 18 36 and 54 inches then we're going to go 36 inches out we use a yardstick right here 36 inches out from our post now this is a corner post so we'll put one here and we'll also alternate on the other side and we'll put a post right here and that just seems to help steady the string a little bit better as it rounds this corner and we'll put this string on the outside at 18 inches just like the lowest string right here now you really don't have to energize this but for the first few days we're going to go ahead and energize this with some power so that we wake the deer up and let them know hey something's changed here we can't go in there and we can't eat Josh's blackberries anymore. Now the type of post we're using is just a simple synthetic post and basically it has this little stabber that stabs in the ground and you step on it with your foot and that sets it down in the ground. Now when we get to our corner post we want to lean them outward ever so slightly so when we pull our string around we can't pull it as tight as we could on our T post. So we want to pull our string around and that'll kind of slightly pull these guys in and hold tension on the string. This is just how simple the post goes in the ground. You just find your spot We'll angle it out just a little bit and then give her a little mash and hope, cross our fingers, we don't hit a rock. And we go all the way down in there and that'll hold good. Sweet. All right, folks, so we're wrapping this thing up. Just in review, here's what we have. We have one large T-post on the inside, and that's the six-foot T-post. Then we have a smaller acrylic-type post in here, and we have a line on the acrylic-type post or the plastic post at 
18 inches. Now on the inside we have 18, 36, and 54. Now if we walk away just a little bit, you can get a little more perspective as to how this works, okay? This fence goes all the way around our garden, our orchard down here, and our little vineyard kind of vineyard so this works this keeps the deer out they cannot negotiate this three-dimensional field and it's kind of hard to negotiate on camera but once they hit that line that first line they'll walk up and boom they'll hit that first line they cannot negotiate they can't jump crossways they have to jump straight over and that throws them off and keeps them out of your garden. So folks, thanks a lot for watching us here on the Stony Ridge Farm Channel. I appreciate you. Come on back and see us. Be sure to pound that like button. Subscribe to the channel if you're not already subscribed. And we'll give you a little bit more information like this, okay? So this actually works. This fence system actually works. I think it was a study done at the University of Iowa. I watched it. I studied it. I built it a couple years ago and it works. It keeps the deer out of your garden, keeps the deer out of your orchard. It might be a little bit of a pain in the butt to mow around, but we'll just have to weed eat underneath it and we'll reap the benefits with our big old healthy garden here. So thanks a lot guys. We'll see you next time at Stony Ridge Farm. Say bye. We'll come on down to the Stony Ridge. Bring your wife and bring your